Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. Life is a dichotomy. You always get to a fork in the road and you have to pick one. And that determines the rest of your life. So, getting dogs was one of those turning points in my life. Not one or two, but four. And uh, I am very happy that I've made that decision. Max is better. He is smiling again. So the thing with him was this is a seed of a kind of grain and these sharp thingies are called awns and they facilitate self-burial, hygroscopic movement into the wool of a sheep or the head of the dog and this got into Max's ear and we had to drive one hour to a special clinic to have this removed and hopefully the ear is still the eardrum is still okay and he's already a little bit more spirited so I'm happy about that now I can also sleep better tonight. Bamboo! Lone bamboo. Here at the far west. I like bamboo. I would like to have clusters of bamboo. I would like to have a seat in the middle of bamboo. I would like to build bamboo roofs or walls, or huts. Here at the lowest part of the land, this is the northwestern corner, I have planted some Sudan grass, sorghum. I planted late because the, we waited for the soil temperature to rise. There's a mountain in the south, so we are north facing slope and our sun intensity is very different, especially in winter. I have now watered this three times and now I'm going to leave it. It must now find its own way at the bottom of a swale. I want to see what happens. I also plant further away to have some reference if there is real benefit of this swale providing humidity to the plants below it. I hope so. Some more of these self-burial seeds. They're all over the place. And the veterinarian told us this is what she spends most of her days the last month doing is just removing these seeds from the noses, the, the ears and the bodies of pets. I'm walking here along the swale, I'm looking for something and that is something I have seen yesterday. We are part of a club where we plant very 
close to each other on a swale. I mean, this is Paulovnia. There was something planted there. This is goji berry. And this is a Johannes Beeren. I don't know the English word. Cactus. And here comes some some zucchini and another paulovnia and then rosemary and rosemary and hackberry paulovnia so a lot of here we have this is the loquat paulovnia paulovnia I like it. Many of these <coughs> cuttings of Paulovnia they initially took maybe just the sap they had left in the cutting and they produce some growth and it's all gone. I expected it. So maybe if we have more than 5% I will already be satisfied. It's gone. While I was busy here with the excavator, this is the new found farm canal where the water meanders down from the top of the farm to the bottom so I made this trench here tiny trench for the water to go more towards the swales and I'm happy to say that this was Max's day so we didn't do much as I said but uh, we have this main irrigation water supply line, 40 millimeters. We have this covered in the soil and that is great. Another of the plants on this land, Borrega. Beautiful star-shaped flower. Several of them in this area. Beautiful. Irrigation is in full swing. The days are not that hot not even 30 degrees so uh, we are happy with that I have buried every place where we have we cross a irrigation line I just buried it this is the sorghum in this watershed area I will keep watering this beautiful day happy that Max is better I hope that everybody is having a good day goodbye